Hi, my name is Rising John and welcome back to my channel. This is a continuation of my video series on Filipino construction terminology where I'll be talking about construction terms often spoken by local workers and show you what they all mean. There's a lot of terms to cover so I'll be breaking this down in a series of videos. We are now in part 3, Tools and Equipment.
So the Filipino terms I have in the list are some of the most popular. I personally use them during construction from time to time depending on who I'm talking to. Although some of the local terms are hardly ever spoken anymore since the English versions have become more common. Vernacular terms may also vary from one region to another as the Philippines has so many dialects. Do you know more? Comment down below if you do know any other local construction terms not included in this video. I will also put links in the description for the other parts of this video series on Filipino construction terminology. If you're new to the channel and want to learn more about the things that I do or about the things that I share, click the subscribe button and the notification bell down below to receive updates when I post newer videos. Again, this is Ryzen John. Thanks for watching and let's all continue learning.